kaza mungu baba niza Mara kaza mungu baba niza Zaweza kwenda juu Zaweza kwenda chini Zaweza kwenda mbele Zaweza kwenda nyuma Upande upande kwa matai Sai sai Good morning good morning children Welcome to our CTC Sunday and I want to believe that you guys are ready to receive from the Lord. But before we do anything, I want us to pray and just dedicate ourselves. Let's believe and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We are so excited and delighted that you have given us an opportunity just to come and worship you this morning. We want to thank you for each and every one that has tuned in. And for those who are planning to join us in our physical service later on, we want to thank you, we want to bless you, we want to glorify your name. As we begin this service, we want to put everything before you that we may go ahead of us and prepare our hearts, even the readers prepare their hearts, prepare the hearts of the preacher and the one that we are going to get through the story is all Jehovah. We worship you, we bless you. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Indeed, welcome children. This is the second CTC Sunday this year. We are now in the month of February. But before we go to our lesson, first things first, we're going to have a time of praise. Uncle Tuk Tuk, hey. are you ready for that? We are ready like ready. Yes. So if you're in the house, wherever you are, if you're watching us uh, uh, from your car, from the house, wherever you are, just stand up. Make sure you are on your shoes. And this is what we normally do here. When it is time for praise, children, what do we do? We, we stand up and we energize. So how many are ready to go and spread the gospel out there? Now this one is for you. All the lovers of reggae music in the kingdom, let's do this. I place my life in your hand With a loving Father I won't fail oh, Igniting me a passion Yeah To set the world ablaze Through the fire Through the fire Through the storm I will go Amazing God on my side. Amazing God on my side. What a revelation. What a revelation I won't hide. Who? Here I am, use me. I will come. I will come without delay. Through the fire. Through the fire. Through the storm. I will go, go, hallelujah, to the great I am, my redeemer, everlasting one, where you send me, I will go with your power and your love. to Jesus yeah let's go to the next part huh? oh yeah come on are you ready let's now take this one stand amazed I stand amazed at your love how far you went to set me free take this offering Take this offering My mind, my hands My mind, my hands and both my feet Through the fire Through the fire Through the storm I will go Oh, hallelujah To the great I am My redeemer Everlasting one Where you say Power and your love. Hallelujah. 
a clap to Jesus. Now, children, there are some times that we go through some things, but our God normally turns them around. Tell your neighbor, he turns them around. He turns them around. And I know for sure my God will turn every situation that you're going through Amen. to your to your for his glory. Yes, for his glory. Preach with me. Preach with me, guys. <laughs> okay, let's do this part. Let's do this part. Let's clap. God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. Let's sing. I know my God will turn it around. Oh, I know. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, there are so many. Many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. Yeah, I know my God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. Come on, sing. I know my God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. Do you know he will turn it around? Do you know he will turn it around? Yes, he will. I have seen many, many times in my life that my God has turned it around. Come on, let's sing. I know my God will turn it around. Yeah, yeah. I have seen my God turn it around. Oh, there are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. I know my God will turn it around. Yeah, yeah. I have seen my God turn it around. Yeah. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen no, we my want God to sing. turn it around. Let's go. Come on, dance it. I know my God will turn it. I know my God will turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my God turn it around. Oh, yeah. He has turned it. He has turned it. Amen. Wow. How, how are you feeling, eh? Are you, are you feeling like you're enjoying up. yourself in the presence of God? Yes, we Tell are. Tell your neighbor, Bado. Bado. Now, we want to say how our God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. But there's absolutely nothing that my God cannot do. Okay? Sure. Let's go back. And my God is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do Together My God is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do Together My God is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do He made the trees he made the trees, he made the seas, he made the elephants too. He made the trees, he made the trees, he made the seas, he made the elephants too. He's so big, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing. 
nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. So great. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His. The mountains are His. The rivers are His. The skies are his and he walks to the mountains. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the skies are his and he walks to. He's so big, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, my God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. There is nothing, there's nothing my God cannot do. Oh, absolutely nothing. There's nothing my God cannot do. Nothing, there's nothing my God cannot do. For you. Come on, let's appreciate our God. Back to you, Mercy. Oh, yeah. Welcome, children to our service again today, being the CTC Sunday. And remember, the Lord has called us to how many children, friends? One. One. Hashtag a billion, a billion, billion children, children for, for Christ. Christ. One more time. A, a billion, billion children, children for, for Christ. Christ. You and I are part of the billion children for Christ. And we are continuing with uh, the theme or the topic of leadership because in Kenya this year, we are electing leaders, right from the lowest that we call the MCA to the president. And every one of us is a leader. That's what we've been learning. Mm. You don't have to be at the top there. You could be a prefect. You could be the firstborn. Yeah, or somebody is behind you, you are leading. So we need to learn mm. some of these um, characters of good leadership. And last Sunday, we learned that Moses... Yeah, was me. helped me. <laughs> by his friends. Yes, because he was told to lift up his hands. He got tired. And we saw that one of the things leaders sh uh, we should do for our leaders is to help them and also pray for them. And so today we're going to hear something else. We are going to invite the Bible reader so that we can hear what the Lord has in store for us. Noel, who is doing the Bible reading? Our Bible reader today is Marsha uh -huh. Madobo. Wow. Mm. wow. I don't know if she's related to Larry Mado, but mm. anyway. Never know. <laughs> Welcome, Marsha. My name is Marsha Mado. I am eight years old. I live in Kisi, Kenya. Our reading today comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 39, verse 42 to 43, and continues to chapter 40, verse 1 to 4. And it says, the Israelites had done all their work just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Moses inspected the work and saw that they had done it just as the Lord had commanded. So Moses blessed them. The Lord said to Moses, Set up the tabernacle, the tent of the meeting, on the first day of the first month. Place the ark of the testimony in it and shield the ark with the curtain. Bring in the table and set out what belongs on it. Then bring in the lampstand and set up it, its lamps. And this is the word of the Lord. And together we say, Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Well done, Marsha. Let's, are we ready to appreciate Marsha? Yes, Ebu, we are. Let's get ready, guys. Yes. Kalamanda! Pa, 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 pa. Kalamanda! Pa, pa, pa. Senorita, pa 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 but today we encounter a very interesting word, the tabernacle. Mm. What word was, is that? Tabernacle. tabernacle. Who knows what a tabernacle is? Yeah. All right, I will tell you. 
this was a mobile place of worship. Children, you know that when we go to worship, we come here in the sanctuary, we go to church. But this place was mobile. I wonder, does any one of you remember where the Israelites used to worship? Who can remember? The temple. Yes, excellent. That was a temple. But that was during the time of the kings. The temple was built by Solomon, the son of King David, the third king of Israel. But now, the Israelites are still not in the promised land. Remember when they were taken out of Egypt by leader Moses? Yes, Moses. They <laughs> were sent somewhere to go and explore the promised land, and they found some people, and they feared. Who remembers what happened? Mm -hmm. Noel, what happened? Let me tell you. Yeah. They went there. And they met giants, mm -hmm. giants, people who are very big. Mm. Yeah. And then they came back running, saying, we cannot go, we are, we are not able, we are so small. Imagine. Yes, fear overtook them, and that is why they are still in the desert for 40 years. Because they feared the giants. They failed to trust in God, and Moses is still leading them. But they, they needed to know that God was in their presence. And that time, children, God did not dwell in the hearts of the people like he does today. God started dwelling in our hearts after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So they needed a symbol or a sign that God was with them. And so God tells Moses that the people should build for him a tabernacle. This mobile church that has to move from one place to the other. I don't know whether you have an idea of a, de a desert. Eh? Um, you know, you keep moving today, you are here. Next time you are, maybe you go two kilometers, you stop again. And it is so detailed. It has got so many details. Actually, the outside of the tabernacle is made of curtains. Mm. There were no bricks. There were, there were no bricks in the desert. Mm -hmm. It was curtains, and then there was a, a board at the bottom made of gold. Remember, yes. these people had come with ah. some uh, things from Egypt at the command of the Lord. And now God himself. Can you imagine God giving you an instruct, some instructions on how to build for him or come up with a building? We might not be very familiar with the tabernacle today. Probably we are used to a church like this one. Mm. But I would like my friend to tell us, if you were to put up a building like this, and we are putting up one, the CTC, what do we require? What are some of the people that we require there? Well, uh -huh. at the very, very beginning, mm -hmm. we need someone we call an architect. Who is an architect? So an architect uh -huh. is someone who, who draws, let me use the simplest word, yes. who draws... For example, if it is this building, mm -hmm. draws how this building should look on paper. So he gives mm. all the details where this, these chairs will be, where, where people should be standing like we've, stu we've stood here. And I can say the instructions that God gave them were the same, instruction that the, uh, the same instructions that an architect would give before a building is built. Wow. Teacher yes. Masi. Yes. That paper. Yes. I, I hear it's normally blue. Yes, it's <laughs> called a blueprint. It's called blueprint. It's called, blueprint. <laughs> yeah. it's called blueprint. a blueprint. Blueprint. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's Noel, very big. Noel, it's a don't, very big paper. Don't scare Wivu. <laughs> <laughs> don't scare Moses Kivaru. Something, eh? I knew. Yeah. And you know, children, even for our CTC, the Children at Teen Center, yeah. we have people designing or drawing that building. Like, eh? I know that. I know one of the parts. Tell us. Tell us. Guka James. Yes, ah. Uncle Guka is actually Uncle Guka. Hey. Uncle Guka James. Do you remember any other? Uncle Gideon. Ah, Gideon. Yes. And you know, it's not just drawing. Mm. To come up with a building, you need the ones who draw, the ones who paint, the ones mm. who... Uh, all those details. Uh, our brother knows better but because he has studied in that field. Yeah. But anyway, even Shh. if the tabernacle did not have the, the bricks of today, there were so many details God had given. And you know, when God gives you details, it is important you follow them to the letter. All the details he gives, mm -hmm. you follow them according to what he tells you. And Moses would occasionally supervise that work. You know, children, if 
A building is not supervised when it is being built. Sometimes accidents happen, mm. like here in Kenya. Yes. yes. Do you know any? Mm. Uh -huh. There are buildings that have hey. collapsed. Yes. Because mm. they, they, have not, they did not follow instructions. They did not follow instructions. Yes. Mm. Good. Mm. And the supervisor must have failed mm. because as he or she supervised, was not able to identify the mistakes or the gaps. And actually, mm -hmm. there are people who are given instructions mm -hmm. and they don't follow, they are stubborn. Mm -hmm. They are so stubborn. The, the supervisor is doing his work mm -hmm. and then they are stubborn, they don't follow the instructions. Yes. Can I give an example? Please do. Like, now, assume uh -huh. I am the chief architect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like Uncle <laughs> And <laughs> Wait. Uh -huh. he, has, he has blueprints and in his tooth. I have blueprints <laughs> yes. and I'm also the contractor. Uh -huh. hey. So I'm given instructions. Yeah. Horace, mm -hmm. this foundation, mm. uh -huh. 24 bags of cement, uh -huh. but Horace mm. is using 12. Corruption. And the other 12, corruption. 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 Where are the 12? <laughs> I have eaten. <laughs> what will happen to that building? It will collapse. Surely, it will, not pick up. It will collapse after yes. some time, even yes. if not immediately. Yes. So again, that corruption is seen. Mm. And it is worse when God gives you instructions, you need to follow them. This building is uh, over 100 years where we are. Mm -hmm. If they had not followed the instructions, would not be here today. Yes. Yes. It was important that those children of Israel follow the instructions. We do not know all the details of the building, but we can imagine everybody was involved. Mm -hmm. Whether they were little like you, big like me and daddy or teacher, everybody had work to do because it was the work of the Lord and Moses supervised it and they finished it well and they were happy. Moses was happy. Everybody brought in their knowledge. Knowledge is what you know in your head, like what our friend knows about buildings and their skills. Who knows what is a skill? A skill is a special gift mm -hmm. or ability that God gave us. Amen. Like which For one? example, mm -hmm. our brother Mike is skilled in playing the piano. Good. Mm. And you, what is your skill? Playing the guitar. Uh -huh. Can I say mine? You, you have many. Tell us, <laughs> tell us a few. Cooking chapati. Eating <laughs> ugali <laughs> and chapati. <laughs> also, you love chapati. <laughs> you know what, children? Every one of us has a skill. Don't feel like you are too small. Uh, we do not know what the children were doing uh, when it came to the construction of the tabernacle. But the Bible tells us everybody did their work well. And that tabernacle, remember, was a sign of God being among the Israelites. Mm. It was a mobile church. And you know it was carried by four priests. They had to carry it shoulder to shoulder. And they kept moving. And later, as we go uh, discovering in, this, in the story of the Israelites, later is when they are going to build a temple. And that will come in the book of uh, Kings. So... Um, we don't have uh, to keep talking about the building. The most important thing to note here is that Moses involved everybody. And the Bible actually tells us about the body. This one body has got different parts. This finger cannot say, I am too small, I'm not important. Everyone of us is important. Yeah. When our leaders call us children, arise and do what they are telling you. Your leaders could be your mommy, daddy, your pastor, your Sunday school teacher, when they tell you to join others in doing something, in being a team, mm. join them. Because when we are together, we do something beautiful for the Lord. Amen. And that is the end of our uh, reading ah. today. Wow, yes. wow, mm. Mm. wow. Mm. I wonder whether you picked any lessons? Yes, yes, I, pick, I uh -huh. picked a lesson. Yes. And um, I've learned that we are uh, gifted differently, mm -hmm. or the word that you used, skilled yes. differently. Um, there are some people who are skilled, uh, for example, in building the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. There were those who were designing, and there were those who decorated to make it look good. And uh, even more, in a more practical example th that we, are, we know, in a football setup, Mm -hmm. uh, we have d different players in a field. For example, I'm a, I'm a supporter of Manchester United. Yeah, yeah. No. 
don't say. I'm a supporter of Manchester United. Uh -huh. And you find that in that field, mm -hmm. people are, are different, uh, differently gifted. So there is a striker, there is a defender, and there is a midfielder, uh -huh. and also a goalkeeper. All these players, they are playing different roles in that uh, game. All this to achieve, uh, let's say, to achieve a goal or mm -hmm. to score a goal. Uh, the work of a striker <laughs> is to score. Okay. Uh, of, of course, uh, the defense, they are just to defend from being uh, scored by the team against. Uh, that is playing against them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. different players in the same field, they're playing different roles, but they're all working towards achieving the same goal. If they win, they all win as a team. Mm -hmm. So, we should all bring our different gifts and skills and work together so that we can achieve um, a common goal. And so, we should not look down uh, on the other's gift, because it is equally important. I cannot look down on Mike's gift saying that mine is bigger than his. Yes. Or uh, the drums, because it, it looks more physical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they all uh, work together to make something beautiful for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Teacher, was yeah, just yeah. allow me to add something. <laughs> <laughs> you are so amused, Moses. I have remembered, you know, in a Mujengo setup where people are, <laughs> are four men. Where there are four men. <laughs> yes. There are people who uh -huh. are very skilled mm -hmm. in telling stories. <laughs> yes. You guys are working. They are telling the, stories. You know, yesterday, uh -huh. mm, this and this and this happened. So, yeah. at the time for pay, uh -huh. of course, the supervisor, don't, don't, this one has not even carried yeah. the 50 bucks or 70. <laughs> He's just uh -huh. a storyteller. Uh -huh. So, there are people who are also skilled in storytelling. Mm. <laughs> True. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, True. It's, still, it's a gift, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are one of them. I also. think most, most no, teacher Tuk Tuk has been one of them. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, children. <laughs> what we've learned, every skill, every talent is important in God's work or in mm. God's kingdom. Do not look down upon yourself and True. think that yours is not important. True. Yes. Any other lesson we've picked? Yeah, I've picked a lesson. Mm -hmm. But just even to continue with that, mm -hmm. someone would think someone in praise and worship at in the church is better than someone in ushering mm -hmm. or someone in, in hospitality. Mm -hmm. We are all, e all equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And I've also learned that um, it is important to follow instructions. Yes. Uh, um, in that story, there is a place where after Moses had supervised them, he blesses them because they followed the instructions. instructions. How, how exactly how God described it. And like Uncle Tuk Tuk described that he was the architect and the contractor. <laughs> and then he, he gives his everything. <laughs> <laughs> and he has blue blueprints in his Tuk Tuk. <laughs> <laughs> so he said that he can give an instruction for, for a foundation to they, for them to use 50 bucks. Yes. And then if they fail to follow that instruction, the building might collapse. Mm. And so it is true even to us. If we are given an instruction, even in the football, uh, in the football setup, if they, are, they don't follow the rules and the instructions they are given, they might not win. Mm, sure. And so even in our lives, as, as we participate in a team or a group, we have been given an assignment. If you don't follow the instruction, if you don't do your part, you might fail the whole team. Thank so you so much. It is, Im it is important that we follow instructions that we are given by our teachers, by our parents, and even by our class prefects. Yes. 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 Some of us don't like class prefects, but it is important that we follow the instructions. There are consequences. When we do not follow instructions, there will be consequences. And here, because the people obeyed what Moses told them, and Moses had been told by God, they were blessed because they built according to what God had instructed. And you know, God knows even the number of hairs we have on our head. Mm -hmm. he, he, you, we must hey. obey God. He knows <laughs> everything about us. Hey. Yes, Moses, that's what the word of God tells us. Hey. So when he gives us instructions, we obey. Yes. And the third lesson, we can pick many lessons, but the third one we can pick is that when our leaders call on us to do something, it is good that we work together. 
there is a saying that says we are better together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like me, I'm better than Moses, so I will not join Moses, or my team is better, or my co the color on my skin, or the, the language I speak is better. God wants us to work as a team to support our leaders. Moses would not have succeeded with all the details of the tabernacle, without the people coming with their knowledge and skills. And so God is calling you today. Bring your knowledge, bring your skill, not to build a tabernacle or a sanctuary or a temple for God, but to reach out to other children in the vineyard. When you hear about God's word today, what would you do with it? Would you sit on it and go and tell another child? When you go to school, what stories will you be giving? Moses is telling us that storytelling is a skill. Mm -hmm. I wonder, what stories will you give? You can mm -hmm. tell your friends about the love of God that he has for us so that you and us here, we can all take part in reaching out. Hashtag a billion children, children for, for Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. No knowledge is useless before God and no skill is too small or useless when it comes to the work of God. You have been called, I have been called. I hope that today you'll be able to pray that God can give you the courage to go out there and participate in building not the physical tabernacle, but the spiritual tabernacle by telling others about God because the tabernacle was a sign of God's dwelling. And that brings us to the end of uh, our lesson. Wow, yes. wow. I pray that we are all encouraged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder, do we have a memory verse today? We do. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the one reading the memory verse today mm -hmm. is Naya hey. Auma. Oh. Wow. Naya. Naya. Uh -huh. yes. Naya. The cousin yeah. to Marsha. Maybe wow. they are related so to So those Madu. are cousins, eh? Yes. Okay. Welcome. And, and, and the extended cousin to Nadia, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, let us welcome Naya first. <laughs> welcome, Naya. My name is Naya. I am seven years old. I live in Kisi, Kenya. Our memory verse comes from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. It says, Each one as a good manager of God's different gifts must choose for the good of others the special gift he has received from God. Well done, well done, well done. Yes. Guys, let's get ready. Get ready to appreciate Naya. Are you ready? To yeah, ready? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm warming my hands. Kalamanda! Kalamanda! Signorita! Kalamanda! Kalamanda! Naya! Boom! Well done, well done, Naya. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, children. Uh, we have reached that time that we want to uh, honor God with our offerings and uh, give back to God what belongs to him. And so this is the time to request your guardian, your father, your uncle, whoever uh, is at home who is with you, who is able to send the money uh, 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 through our pay bills. Because today is CTC Sunday, our pay bill is 30, 30, 35. And the account is Sunday, Sunday school. school. So uh, please just get into your phones and let's honor God together. But before we do that, let's just pray and appreciate God for the offerings that he has given us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you for the gifts that you've given us today. That we want to honor you so that this can be used for the extension of your kingdom. Even as we uh, wind up in the work that you have appointed us to do in the CTC. Uh, when we started this journey, we call upon you, and we're still calling upon you to continue to use us just to give back to you. So we thank you for each and every one that is represented here and following us and uh, here with us in this service, that whatever they are given, whatever they are giving, Lord, it will come back to them full measure. We thank you, we bless you, we honor you, for this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, children that are at home, get ready. After this, we have our physical service, those, those that come to the cathedral at 9, and another service at 11. And I believe that we'll be blessed together. 
Uh, but let's commit our week to the Lord mm -hmm. so that we can meet again online next week, those that are not able to come to church. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of your word. We pray that every child, every parent, every friend will be encouraged to support our leaders with the knowledge and the skills that you have. You have given us because this is important. And we've realized that teamwork brings success. And when we honor God and obey him, we will be blessed. My prayer is that we will all be encouraged to continue working for you wherever we, you have placed us in this world. And above everything, Lord, to be able to reach other people with the gift of your word, telling them about your love, that you died for them and you need their lives. So help every child listening today, give them the courage to tell others about this great love and keep us safe until we meet again. Those will be meeting today and those that will meet again next Sunday online. We thank you and we bless you because it is in Jesus Christ we ask and give thanks. Amen, amen and amen. We've come to the very end. Now we can have the last song, Uncle Moses. Thank you very much, Marcy. Even as we go out, the Bible is reminding us all the time that whatever you receive from his sanctuary, go and spread the love. Tell your friends who probably didn't get the time to tune in. Let's talk about our God. Uh, and we're going to do the CTC anthem. Yes. Okay. Let's clap to Jesus. Together, the Bible says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations now. The Bible says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations now. Baptize. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations now. The Bible says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations now. Oh, the Bible says, Therefore, go and make disciples.